So I gotta get these U-joints out of this drive shaft. There's the other half of it over there. I've already gotten one of them out. But as far as I know, uh, this drive shaft came out of a 68C10. The uh, current project truck right now, but only one of these U-joints that I know of has ever actually been replaced, so chances are this one right here may be an original U-joint to the truck because the truck only has about 138,000 miles on it. And my dad never replaced any of them. But I tried using just one of these, you know, presses, but it was freaking me out because I was having to really bear down on the, uh, the press and I just did not like it. And I found a much easier and much more comfortable way for me to get these out. And so I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm doing here. So first thing, just because these are so old and they've been in there for a while and this drive shaft sat outside for 15 years or something like that. Just going to kind of put some penetrating oil on it. And then basically what I'm going to do is this was actually from the, uh, the jack the press. But really any just something to support it without blocking the the hole because I'm punching the U-joint through the other side and basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a whatever what size is this 18 millimeter is what I was using on this U-joint with a small extension really I don't even need the extension but setting that on there and then taking the sledgehammer putting resting one foot on the on the drive shaft here just to kind of hold it steady and then just hitting on it like that, and that was a pretty controlled way to get it out, so I'm going to attempt that again here. And just like that, U-joint's removed. So I got the new U-joint installed. Getting the old one out was really easy. That took me at most five minutes to get that thing all undone and out. But what took probably half an hour or so was getting the new one in. Because what I kept having a problem with is these newer U-joints just have this real uh, kind of light as in thin blue grease in them. And I kept having the problem as I was trying, I didn't uh, use the press to put these in either because it, I just couldn't get good access over there because it's stuck between the truck and the wall. So I was just using a, a little hammer and the socket to just tap them in. And tapping them in, I mean that worked good, except for the needle bearings kept falling out and getting on the, uh, between the cap and the U-joint itself. They kept, they kept getting stuck right here on the end. They kept falling out. So that happened probably two or three times happening on uh, just either the top one or the bottom one, so I, kept, I changed how I was putting it in and whatnot and being careful, And but that ultimately what fixed this problem is I went and got some, uh, some heavy-duty axle grease and just kind of smeared it along the inside of the uh, needle bearings, and that axle grease was enough to hold them in there while I was tapping the, uh, the cap in. And so once I did that, it, it was it's no problem. I mean, it's before I got it, I got it to this point twice before, and it was incredibly tight because it was just smashing a needle bearing at the very end. But right now, I mean, it's it's happy now. And this you join over here, possibly one of the original ones to this truck. I'm not even gonna bother replacing because it looks bad. But I mean, it it moves freely. It doesn't have any hard spots in it at all. I mean, it's tight in every direction. So, based on what I had to go through to get that one in, I don't think I'm going to currently mess with this one. And if this one does go bad in the future, since this is the, uh, this goes from the carrier bearing to the, uh, whatever differential, this would be a much easier one to replace and get out, so I wouldn't have to pull it out of the transmission. This one over here, 
because this drive shaft is no longer being bolted up to a uh, just a three on the tree which is what this yoke off of it was for was from it was from a three on the tree transmission but what the truck now has if you've been following this project is it has a 5.7 Vortec from a 99 Tahoe backed by a 99 4L60E four-wheel drive transmission that has since been converted to a two-wheel drive output shaft and tail housing. So what I'm going to have to do, because if you look at that U-joint compared to that one, this one off the Tahoe is a lot bigger and that's the size that one of the yokes for the 4L60E takes. But what I found is a conversion U-joint that will let me have a uh, standard 4L60E yoke with a normal newer style GM whatever U-joint caps and then it will convert it to this older style that I can then run to that end of the drive shaft. So it'll be new yoke, conversion U joint to old drive shaft. And that's gonna save me a lot of money on this deal and a lot of time and effort as opposed to having to get a drive shaft made. And uh, this carrier bearing is actually in really good shape. It, I thought it was uh, had a lot of play in it because I could take it and move it around, but it turns out it was just the uh, rubber bushing that isolates this whole thing was the problem. And I actually uh, pulled this cover off, pulled the side cover off the bearing and cleaned it up. The grease that was in there had pretty much turned to dirt at this point. Because that was the grease that was put in this thing when the truck was built originally in 1967 or 8 or whatever. But, so I just cleaned it up and I put some new grease in there and the bearing is really, really tight. It doesn't, I mean, it spins free, but it has no play in it whatsoever. So that, that at least is a bonus, because I don't even know how to get that bearing off of there without tearing something up. But it doesn't matter, because the bearing's fine. That U-joint over there seems to be fine. This one, I had to change, because I was missing parts to that one, and I just didn't even want to mess with it. And the U-joint right there is obviously going to have to be changed, because it needs to be a conversion U-joint. So that's pretty much the story on this.